someone got mixed up in something serious to make loads of dough. For this transnational trafficking syndicate, that is startlingly literal. They were hiding large loads of crystal meth inside commercial bakery dough mixing machines and shipping them from Canada to Australia, where two different networks were hungrily waiting, one tied to outlaw bikers and another to Asian organized crime. We don't know how many mixers might have gotten through, but at least two doped up machines were caught before they even left Toronto, and then police 10,000 miles apart led narcos on an embarrassing sting operation. The mob reporter here with news of a significant meth smuggling operation that spanned continents, but only one end of it has unraveled, leaving half of it so far untouched. Let me tell you about it. It began at Toronto's Pearson International Airport, which was recently the scene of a mind-blowing $20 million gold heist. But before that unsolved mystery came this one. A high-end commercial dough mixer, packed and ready to send as air cargo to Australia, was examined by Canada's border agents. Inside, they found it stuffed with 140 kilos of methamphetamine. It was being shipped to Melbourne, Australia. In an identical mixer, the border agents found 100 kilos of meth. That one was being sent to Sydney, Australia. The RCMP, Canada's federal police force, was called in. They contacted Australian federal police and between them concocted a sting. The meth in both mixers was seized and replaced with fake drugs, then sent on its way. When they got to Australia in October 2021, Authorities let them pass through customs to be delivered to their intended destinations. The one landing in Sydney was delivered to a suburban property, and this man was arrested. Police called him the mastermind behind it. This video shows the police search of his home in Punchbowl, where officers seized a further 1.75 grams of meth, five mobile phones, and numerous SIM cards used for activating phones. Police then raided a commercial building in another suburb. There they found another consignment had been delivered. Not a mixer stuffed with meth, but 40 plastic bags containing a ton of white powder. It turned out to be methylamine, a precursor chemical used to make both meth and ecstasy. Police then tried the same sting, replacing the methylamine with a fake version and delivering it to its destination where a second man was arrested and charged. A few months later, cops tracked down a third man. He was an employee of an Australian freight forwarding company, now accused of using his position to help import drugs. The mixer landing in Melbourne had an even livelier end. It was delivered to a storage facility, but didn't stay there long. Police secretly watched as it was moved to multiple locations around the city, which was probably an attempt by the smugglers to see if police were tracking it. Maybe they're always that careful, or maybe they heard what happened to the Sydney mixer. When it was finally collected, the men soon checked to see what was inside. They must have realized their meth was fake. They dumped it, dough mixer and its hidden stash, in the woods and fled, probably fearing the worst. Police found it like this. I don't think that's any way to treat a machine that could help make pizza. Officers then raided seven properties and arrested three local men. The eldest was out on bail at the time of his arrest, and I'm told the youngest has links to the Rebels Motorcycle Club. That's a big made in Australia outlaw biker club. During the raids, officers seized more than one and a half million dollars in Australian cash, various other drugs, some guns and ammunition, a stolen motorcycle, and uncovered a clandestine laboratory containing drug manufacturing equipment. Now these dough mixers aren't department store kitchen appliances. They're huge and expensive, meant for large bakeries and pizzerias. According to the sticker on one seized in Australia, they were bought from this Toronto restaurant and food industry supplier. And they look like they're this model. Hobart Legacy HSL 350-1 Spiral Dough Mixer. It's listed at more than $37,000. It's a beast. 
Its specs say it's ideal for large baking operations and can accommodate up to 350 pounds of product. I'm sure the kinds of product the manufacturer and retailer had in mind were very different than what this network wanted them for. I reached out to the Toronto sales company trying to learn more, but I didn't get a reply prior to deadline. The first guy that was arrested in Sydney, 37-year-old Yuan Long Yang, pleaded guilty to charges of facilitating the importation of meth and methylamine. Last week, he was sentenced to 11 years in prison, with no chance of parole for seven years. Charges against the others arrested in Australia have not yet been settled in court. Police say the Australian end of the dough mixing ring is all cooked. But there is no indication the Canadian end, those who packed the mixers and sent the meth from Toronto, has been dealt with. It seems they still might be in the mix, causing a stir, and maybe still making dough. Please share a link to this video on social media to give it a boost. And please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on subscriber notifications. That helps me a lot. Thanks for watching to the end.